Hi, my name is Ty Tesson, and today I'm going to talk about the front camber on an X-Ray XB8 pillow ball car. Uh, I'm going to be covering the how to set it, um, how to test it, and what the effects are. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the effects the camber has on the car's handling. Um, basically, the wheels leaned in more is going to give you more steering, which means more steering coming into the corner. It's going to have more aggressive feel through the bumps. It's going to have more steering, um, more aggressive feel in the steering on high speed sections. Basically, just all around, you get more steering from having the wheels leaned in. And then when you lean them out or straighten them back up a little bit, it's going to be a little bit less aggressive feeling. Uh, coming in the corner, it's going to have less mid-corner steering, uh, less steering when you hit a bump or on your, when you're turning in a bump, and also, and also less steering high speed. So next, I'm going to talk about how you can test it for yourself. So the best way you can confirm what I'm saying is to test it yourself. Um, you can go about it this way. This is how I've done it. So I start off with drilling a hole in the wheel. And what I'm doing here is making it so I can check um, back to back really quick without taking the wheel off to adjust the camber. So I'll measure from the center point of the wheel out um, with the hub with the wheel off. I'll measure the, where the holes line up for the pillow balls so I can make a hole here that will be able to reach both because they're a little bit different up, uh, upper and lower from the center. But if you make the hole big enough you'll be able to reach from both. Then <clears throat> uh, before I get on the track I'm going to take all the shims out of the upper and lower. If you have some in there take them out and then screw them, the pillow balls all the way tight and then I'll run it for three or four laps like that and then I'll bring it in and get my pit guy to stick the wrench in the wheel and this way you can change on the fly without doing a whole bunch of, um, taking a whole bunch of time and then possibly track conditions changing or something like that. So what I'll do, I'll, I like to do um, half a turn at a time which is roughly half a millimeter uh, on the shimming and then I'll look at a point on the wrench, like there's a flat spot here, and I'll use that to try to find a flat, uh, halfway point. So what I'll do is I'll unscrew that half a turn, like that, and then I'm going to go run again for another three or four laps and see if I feel a difference or what difference I feel. And then I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to keep going to, to where it goes past what I like and then go back to what I like. And then if you do like it both all the way tight, you can also unscrew the bottom one to give yourself even more camber. So Really, this is a really fast and effective way to try your camber on the track as fast as and as most back-to-back -back as you can. Um, once you get the camber you like, check it with the gauge. Um, remember that number and then you can try to set or you can um, put the right shimming in so that you can have the pillow balls tight and have that camber. So once you find the camber you like, I'm going to check it with the camber gauge. I like to use the, the Hoodie Professional camber gauge when I do it. Uh, I'm going to set the car on the board and then roll it forward. That way all the wheels kind of settle into where they're, they're going to be on the track. And then I'll take the gauge and start it on the positive side so that it's leaning out. And then I'm going to set it on the table and then bring the top of it just to the top of the wheel. Just real easy, don't bump it too much. And then you see where, it is, where it's at. Mine's right at 2 degrees. Um, so remember that and then you can fill in the gap wherever it may be on the upper or lower pillow ball with the shim so you can make them tight. And let's say you're both, you like the, the camber with both of them tight. Um, sometimes, or I like to run my car as wide as I can, like as wide as uh, Roar or Ifmar Legal. So I might even add shims to the top and bottom just to get the right width and then I'll make it to the camber of whatever I liked when I measured it after testing. So those are the steps I take to set and test my camber. Uh, a few things to take note is of the camber is, is it makes a big difference in how the car handles. So I like to even once a year just kind of re-familiarize myself with it just to test it again so when I'm at a race I can with confidence know how to which way to change it if I want to change the way my car handles um, and make my car suited to the track condition better. So that's the video about my how I set my camber. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.